Um, <clears throat> in this class, you're actually going to need to, to use these numbers on your calculator. Um, and because of that, you're going to have to learn how to write these numbers using uh, scientific notation on your calculator. Unfortunately, everyone tends to have a slightly different calculator, and there are slightly different ways of entering these numbers into your calculator, <clears throat> and your calculator has slightly, different calculators have slightly different ways of showing these numbers on your calculator. But I'm going to give you a few examples of how this might work. If you have difficulty with it, you can always email me and we can try and walk through it individually. So in this case, we're going to try to write, try to enter the number 4 times 10 to the 6th power using scientific notation on our calculator. So depending on the calculator you have, many scientific calculators have one of two buttons. Sometimes the button is labeled EXP, sometimes the button is labeled EE. But what I want you to think is if you have either one of these buttons, EXP or EE, these buttons basically mean times 10 to the something power. So if you wanted to write 4 times 10 to the 6th power in your calculator, you would write 4, you would press the number 4, you would press the EXP or the EE button, and then you would press the number 6. The EXP or EE button, as I said, basically means times 10 to the something power. So when you press this button, you do not have to hit the times button. In fact, if you do, you'll be doing it wrong. You don't have to hit the 10 button. All of that information is bundled into the EXP or the EE button. So to type 4 times 10 to the 6, again, you press the number 4, press the EXP button or the EE button, depending on which one you have, and then you press the digit 6. And then if you hit equals, your calculator will try to display the number that you just typed in. Many times, if your calculator has enough space to show all of the digits, it will show all of the digits. So in the case of 4 times 10 to the 6, it's actually not that many digits, and so your calculator might write the number 4 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros after it. That's just another way of writing the number 4 times 10 to the 6. However, there will be times when you enter numbers that have so many digits that your calculator can't show all of the digits. In that case, your calculator will try to show you some type of shorthand for scientific notation. Sometimes it will show the number 4 with a space and then the number 6. And what's implied inside of this space is times 10 to the but this is basically your calculator's way of writing 4 times 10 to the 6th power. Not all calculators do it this way. Some calculators will write the number 4 and then a superscript of 6. Again, what's implied here is the times 10 to the, in, even though it's not written out. This is your calculator's shorthand way of writing 4 times 10 to the 6th. Sometimes calculators will put the number e in front of the exponent to try and make it a little more clear. So here, this is just a different way that some calculators might write 4 times 10 to the 6th power. Or this is actually the clearest way that calculators show it. They actually write out the times 10 to the. And some calculators will actually write 4 with the time symbol and the 10 and the number 10 and then the exponent. This is the way that I prefer it, but many calculators do not do it this way. Some, a, a lot of calculators, including the iPhone scientific calculator, does it in, in one of these ways that I'm showing you here. So, depending on your calculator, your calculator may show uh, the number either in scientific notation in a little bit of a strange form, or if it has enough space, sometimes it will show all of the digits. So that's how you type it in. Uh, entering negative exponents sometimes can be a little bit more challenging. Here we're trying to enter the number 2.5 times 10 to the minus 4 into our calculator. The way that you would do it is you would hit 2, you would press the buttons 2, decimal point 0.5, and then you would hit EXP or EE, which basically stands for times 10 to the. And then you would have to hit, uh, most scientific calculators have a button that is labeled with a plus symbol and a minus symbol. And this will basically switch between negative and positive. Um, and then you type in your number. So if you were typing in 2 times 10 to the minus 4, you would type 2.5 EXP plus minus to pull up the minus sign. And then you would hit the digit 4. And if you hit enter or equals at that point, your calculator might show it in one of many different ways. If it has enough space, it will show all of the zeros, but sometimes it might write 2.5 with a space and just a minus 4, even though the times 10 to is implied there. Some, some calculators might show 2.5 with a superscript of minus 4, and again 2.5 e minus 4. So 
That those are some of the many different ways that calculators will show scientific notation. But since you will be using scientific notation in this course, it's actually pretty important for you to familiarize yourself with how to enter those numbers um, into your calculator using scientific notation. So to summarize what we've learned about scientific notation, I want you to realize that scientific notation is just a way that was developed to allow people to write very large and very small numbers compactly. That's basically the purpose of scientific notation. And we are going to be dealing with very large and very tiny numbers that pretty much need to be written in scientific notation in many parts of this course. So you'll need to learn how to do this. Um, what I want you to be able to do specifically is to interconvert numbers between the standard or conventional decimal format that we're used to seeing and scientific notation. So if I give you a number in standard decimal format, be able to convert it to scientific notation, and if I give you a number in scientific notation, be able to convert it back to the conventional form. So as an example, this is 230, 100,000, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. This number is 230 quadrillion, and as you can see, it's kind of a pain to write out all of the zeros, but if you wanted to write it in scientific notation, it's a little bit more compact. 230 quadrillion in scientific notation is 2.3 times 10 to the 17. So you should be able to interconvert numbers like that. And then finally, I want you to be able to enter these types of numbers on your calculator and use them on your calculator. So I want you to be able to enter them on your calculator, but I also want you to be able to multiply them, add them, subtract them, because we're going to need to do those types of things uh, for certain calculations in this course. And that's the end of the introduction to scientific notation.